Hi there, just going to take us for a quick walk around this Kia e Nero. It's the 4 Plus, so it's the very, very top spec. So, yeah, lovely spec on this car, which I'll go through in a bit. Um, it's got a 64 kilowatt hour battery, which in this highly efficient EV, that's going to give you somewhere in the region about 250 to maybe as much as 300 miles worth of driving range, depending on um, the time of year and, and, well, how fast you like to drive your EV. Other stats on this car, um, only done 18,000 miles, so it's nice low miles, uh, MOT, that's not due till the end of February 2025, and it's going to have a fresh service, so it's not going to need one of those until April 2025. So yeah, there's nothing to worry about for ages on this car, um, and it's in really nice condition as well. I'll just go around the exterior now, and I'll point out any noteworthy marks there are. Um, I've got my first sort of scan around the car, I didn't really see anything. Like I say, any any minor little thing I notice I will be sure to point out. It's in sort of the dark metallic gunmetal grey, uh, popular colour, on what is a very, very popular car here. This is probably our second best seller for a Nero. Um, probably based on its, um, its size. You know, it's uh, big enough to be a, a practical sort of family all-rounder. Uh, but at the same time, it's not too big to not be sort of practical and usable on a daily basis. Um, really good, high quality car as well with great specs. So yeah, you can see why it's very, very popular. This does seem to be an absolutely lovely example. I say I can't, I still can't see a mark to point out. Uh, Maybe a stone chip or two, possibly on the on the bonnet of the bumper. There's a tiny little stone chip there, but that's not silly even pointing that out. Um, but without that, I mean, there wouldn't be a mark on this car. So you can have to say it's in very, very good condition. And you certainly wouldn't be disappointed. Uh, it's 4 Plus, so it's a nice top spec car. So you've got a full leather interior, heated front and rear seats. Front seats are cooled, heated steering wheel, uh, JBL 3D sound system, sunroof, uh, heat pump, highly efficient sort of heating system. Further extending the range in winter, uh, adaptive cruise control, steering assist, pretty much a self-driving mode, memory seats, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, reversing camera. There, there is nothing this car doesn't have. It's a really nice, high-tech, high-spec EV uh, and really nice quality. Very nice and tidy inside as well, as you can see. Open the boot. Nice big boot. There's a bit of storage space under the boot floor as well, and you've also got roof rails, so you could stick a roof box on, which will give you a car that's then more capable of doing the family, uh, the family holiday even. Um, in that boot, we'll be putting the three-pin charging lead, like we do with all our cars. So this car is going to come supplied with a lead you can plug into a normal main socket, so you can charge the car from that, so you don't necessarily even need to get a charge point installed. Uh, and there you go. Do you know what, if you're after an e-Nero, this is a absolutely lovely example. Um, equally, if you're after a good value sort of long-range practical family EV, definitely worth checking out the e-Neros. But anyway, this car's here on the fork, all ready for a test drive or a viewing. Uh, alternatively, we can deliver this car straight to your home. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch all our e-Nero content on our website and our YouTube channel. Hopefully, you'll find those videos helpful, and hopefully, we'll speak to you soon.